ApoE is associated with longevity independent of Alzheimer's disease. Uh, this is a paper that was published about three weeks ago, so let's have a look at that data. So first what we're looking at is survival on the y-axis plotted against age, and this is data in humans. Uh, for carriers of ApoE2, which is defined as having two E2 alleles, or one E2 and one E3 allele in blue, uh, ApoE3 defined as having two E3 alleles, or ApoE4 uh, in red, defined as having one E3 and one E4 allele, or two E4 alleles. So uh, at 50% survival, the, that's the time uh, at which half of the population is alive and the other uh, half of the population has died. Uh, we can as assess average uh, lifespan, and what we can see is that uh, average lifespan was uh, longest for the ApoE2 carriers in blue at about 95 years. Uh, a, a smaller uh, lifespan, a shorter lifespan, was found for the ApoE3 carriers in green at about 91 or 92 years, and then the shortest lifespan of them all was present for ApoE4 carriers uh, in red at about 89 years. So about a five to six year difference between ApoE2 and ApoE4. So that explains the first half of the title of this paper, ApoE2 is associated with longevity. What about its um, association with Alzheimer's or death re related to Alzheimer's disease? And that's what we're looking at here. So first comparing ApoE4 carriers versus ApoE3 carriers. When comparing uh, the presence or absence of Alzheimer's disease AD, uh, there was an increased uh, mortality risk regardless if the subjects uh, had Alzheimer's no, uh, AD or did not have Alzheimer's no AD uh, in ApoE4 carriers when compared with ApoE3. Conversely, what about ApoE2 carriers versus ApoE3? Well, there we can see uh, a reduced mortality risk regardless if uh, the subjects had Alzheimer's disease or did not have Alzheimer's disease. So hence the conclusion that ApoE2 is associated with longevity independent of Alzheimer's disease. Now this isn't the only study to have identified associations for ApoE2, uh, or the ApoE gene with mortality risk. Uh, this is data from a larger study, uh, about 106,000 subjects. So first let's have a look at the dementia associated mortality which is relevant to Alzheimer's disease. So uh, first when comparing um, uh, ApoE4 carriers with the referent uh, ApoE3, we can see that there's an increase, significantly increased uh, uh, mortality risk related to dementia for the ApoE4 carriers. So having one E4 allele is associated with a 2.33 fold increased risk of dementia associated mortality compared to ApoE3. And even worse, carrying two alleles, E4, E4-4, was associated with a 6.49 uh, fold increased risk of dementia associated mortality when compared with ApoE3 uh, carriers, two, having two alleles of ApoE3. So uh, dementia associated mortality is just one um, um, uh, outcome related to uh, death. What about all cause mortality, which includes uh, all the deaths related to cardiovascular disease, Alzheimer's disease, cancer, etc.? So that's what we're looking at here. And again, we can see that compared to ApoE3, E33, uh, having one allele for ApoE4 was associated with a 10% increased all-cause mortality risk, and having two E4 alleles was associated with a 43% increased all-cause mortality risk. Um, so conversely, having one allele of uh, ApoE2, uh, so E32 here, uh, was associated with a significantly reduced all-cause mortality risk when compared with uh, uh, ApoE3. So associations are interesting, which is what I've shown you, but what about causation? So to test that, uh, Shinohara's group, the, the uh, group that I mentioned on the previous slide, they engineered mice to um, uh, have either ApoE2 in blue, ApoE3 in green, ApoE4 in red, and then they completely knocked out uh, the ApoE4 gene in purple. And this is a survival uh, plotted against uh, age. Uh, so, um, how is lifespan affected? So again, just like the human data, although that was association, this potentially more, uh, gets more at causation here. We can see that the uh, mice that had the ApoE2 gene uh, lived the longest, uh, had the longest average lifespan. Uh, the ApoE3 carriers lived intermediate, and the ApoE4 carriers lived the shortest, again, just like the human data. Uh, so from this, we can conc uh, uh, conclude that ApoE uh, beyond its associations, may have a causative role in impacting longevity in people. So what's my ApoE status? I'm interested, obviously, in living longer than anyone that's ever lived before, so having an ApoE2 genotype would be a good start to get there. 
So I've had this uh, measured, I've had the SNPs for APOE that are relevant to lifespan, RS429358 and RS7412 um, measured. And uh, as we can see below, um, my APOE uh, genotype for, for the RS429358 is uh, T and T, and for the RS7412, it's C and C. And based on uh, that genotype, I'm the APOE3, uh, uh, I'm an APOE3 carrier. So, um, what are your uh, APOE, what's your APOE status? Uh, leave, leave a note in the comments below. Uh, let's see who's got some longevity genes. All right, that's all I've got for now. Uh, for more info, you can find me lots of places online. Have a great day.